my name is Teresa and I grow these mushrooms called Cordyceps militaris. This is a mushroom that grows on insects in the wild, but mycologists actually figured out how to grow it on supplemented rice. And the recipe that I do is brown rice with yeast, cornstarch, malt, dextrose, calcium carbonate. Um, this is actually a recipe from Terrestrial Fungi, which is a great company. They sell genetics um, and they also just have great recipes, good YouTube videos, a lot of learning. And um, I also recommend Appalachian Gold. I'm using their genetics too, and it's really good so far. Um, I started to get into cordyceps just because it's so beautiful and cool looking. I feel like I'm growing art, but there's um, some potential research that shows that it's good for lung health and immune system support. There definitely needs to be more research, but I definitely think everyone should get into cordyceps more and learn how to grow it because it's just so fun and cool, and I love it. So. All right, you guys, I just want to give you a quick tour of my mushroom uh, grow rooms. Um, this is my incubation space. I um, have a bunch of stuff incubating in the dark back here. Just keep it in the dark so that mycelium can grow faster. Um, liquid cultures and stuff in there. Right now, I just have like uh, mostly reishi in here. This is a bunch of cordyceps I need to keep dark. So I got these two cabinets for incubation and then I have my lab space. Um, this is my clean area. This is where I do all my agar work and um, this is my fan filter unit. So this is cleaning the air, getting rid of all the bacteria and all the kind of stuff in the air just to make sure that nothing no contaminants get into my grain or anything. So um, eventually I want a bigger space. I'm already kind of running out of room here, but it definitely works for now. Um, and then I just have my microscope. Um, I'm using this for cordyceps breeding. So I'm going to be trying to find single uh, ascospores on agar to be able to isolate those and for some breeding projects. So um so that's the incubation lab space and here is my favorite room the lab room or the grow room so uh mostly cordyceps in here i do have some lion's mane in here this is just like super simple it's just a plastic tub with some holes usually you put like polyfill in them but i need to get out my martha soon so this is just kind of temporary space, but it definitely works. Like I've had these in the, these for the whole time. So I just missed it every now and then super easy. Um, so that's lion's mane. And then all this is cordyceps. So I have to keep it around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, doesn't like it when it gets too hot. Um, but mostly all the humidity is inside here so I don't have to worry about pumping any humidity or anything into the air out here so it's kind of it's really nice um here's a couple multi-spore plates cordyceps so I took some spores and apparently the orange part is where I should be taking my culture because it might fruit a little better so um these I all just put in you can see they're not very orange yet um they'll get orange in the next couple days or so and this side is pretty much ready to harvest. Um, I really like the shoe boxes the best. It seems, but these are kind of nice. I think this is like mm, 15 quarts. This is really nice. I'm gonna be harvesting this today, and this is my best harvest so far. So look how cute it is! Wow, I love it took about two months from start to finish so that's not too shabby it looks great i love my mushroom tapestry in here uh, eventually i want to like totally redo all these rooms and do paint and get some better floors like I really hate this carpet so gotta be making upgrades and eventually i'm gonna make some more space in my basement too so we'll have the whole basement and these two rooms and it's so much fun. I just love being in here and looking at my mushrooms. It's so cute. So I'll probably post some more updates as time goes by. So thanks for checking out.